When I read the manuscript for Brave Girl, I had never heard of Clara Lemlick. And is this a, is this, should I stand back a little? Yeah. Okay, here we go. But I was completely enamored with Michelle's text and, to, and completely inspired by Clara. One of the jobs of the illustrator is to bring the story to life in a completely different way. There's subplots and pictures and textures that we can bring to the story. So I started to ask myself, what was New York like at the turn of the century? What did Clara wear? What did her sewing machine look like? I came to New York and went to the Tenement Museum. Some of you may have been there to the Tenement Museum. What a wonderful uh, example of New York at the turn of the century, right in the heart of the garment district. And I learned that it was one of the most populated places on the planet at that time. And there, in these apartments, which are arrested in time, with the linoleum coming off the floor and the wallpaper peeling, and the walls were dark from the gas lights. But right by the window, in front of the street, was a sewing machine. Why? That was where the light was best. So all over New York, people were sewing. What did the factory look like? Who, uh, what, what did it look like from the outside and the inside? I believe it's New York University now, but the uh, Triangle Shirtwaist Factory was a many-story factory building. And what, one of the most poignant things I saw in my research was a map, like a blueprint, of this factory floor. And I saw that there were uh, 30 tables with, uh, sorry, eight tables with 30 girls, 240 women, girls, aunts, wives, sisters, daughters, in, the, in these factories, um, working many, many hours. And these were the women Clara was speaking up for. So I wanted to draw each one of them to honor their lives. And what about, what about all those scraps of fabric? I'm a sewer, so I know that, fab, that not only her apartment, but the factory would have been completely littered with scraps of fabric and thread. So I decided to uh, use um, ribbons and uh, fabric within my art. And basically, I just took my paintings and ran them under my sewing machine. And it worked. So the drawing and the rat-a-tat-tat, as Michelle says, of the sewing machine became part of the pattern and rhythm of my paintings.